Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com, uh, also Nova Voice and Data Systems in California. And today you're going to talk about um, the preliminary uh, things that we need to do before you start cabling. And what you have in front of you here is the floor plans. Uh, for a small office, it's not, not very major, but one of the first things you want to do is identify uh, where the different jacks are. You notice that we use triangles and point them towards the wall where the jacks are going to be. Here's a jack on either side of that wall that they're going to build. Right here and right here. But one other thing you want to identify is where is the main distribution frame? And that is usually where the phone system is going to be, where the patch panel is going to be. You want uh, both phones and data to be pretty much terminated in the same area if you can. Now if this was a big building what you would want is you'd want that MDF to be closer to the center. It's easier uh, uh, to reach, plus at the same time you do have limits of 100 meters, which is a little over 300 feet. Uh, so you you want to uh, shorten your distances uh, the best you can. But this is a pretty small building, um, and we're going to be cabling it today. And we do have a floor plan, and it does show where all the jacks are going to be. And I'm going to go to this room now, and I'm going to show you a little bit about that room, and uh, describe what needs to be done. And again, today we're in the um, the MDF. We're right here on the floor plan. And one of the things you want to do um, is you want to um, start where all the cables uh, come together. All these cables here are going to run back to there. So all those little triangles you see, uh, the cables are going to go from the triangle back to the main distribution frame or the computer room, the telecom room, whatever you want to call it. All these are going to pull back. So what you want to do, and that's where we're at right now, is you want to set up all your boxes, um, all your cabling, uh, right here in the, in the room. And you want to pull from this area um, all your cables. And it's, it's uh, you know, it goes up through the ceiling there. And uh, you want to pull out. And one of the things we do also, um, just to help us with additional pulls, is we, we put this very inexpensive pull string. You can buy them in boxes. Um, I mean in barrels like that, a couple thousand feet, I think it's 5,000 feet of pull string. And we leave that string up there. Uh, so if additional pulls are needed, it's right there. We can attach a cable to it and pull the cable all the way out. Now today we're pulling both voice and data to the same location. And uh, you can see we're going to use a blue cable for data and a white cable for voice. Both are Cat5e PVC. Uh, PVC is the coating on the cable and uh, we're going to do that because uh, Cat5e is not that expensive and you can use it also for telephones. So you can not only use it for computers, you can use it for telephones. And if you look up in the ceiling you can see it's, it's not what you call a plenum ceiling. Um, so it's okay to use PVC in this area. Of course you want to check your local um, your local codes to make sure that you can pull PVC in uh, PVC cable in the buildings that you're cabling. One of the things you notice here is that we have a little rack with a uh, patch panel and we're going to be terminating our uh, computer uh, on the patch panel, the computer cables this end and uh, this is an old telephone system that's going to be coming out and we're going to clean all that up but the new telephone system along with uh, the cables will be terminated on these blocks and they're called 66 blocks. To be precise they're split 66 blocks. We're going to bring the cable on one side then we're going to run a cross connect over top and bring a uh, cable in the other side to connect it. But this is pretty normal for a building that has been used. It's kind of messy but it is pretty normal to see that mess after years of use. But we're going to be recabling today putting in new cable, additional cable uh, for use. And this is Jim from uh, CableSupply.com and uh, Nova Voice and Data, a uh, cabling company in Southern California. We cable in all 50 states, by the way, and we have already cabled in all 50 states. All the equipment we're using today is from our parent, I mean, it's from our uh, subsidiary, uh, CableSupply.com. Everything we sell on Cable Supply is the same equipment that we personally use and have been using for years. So it's not inferior equipment. You may be able to find something cheaper, 
but you're not going to find anything better at that price. Uh, our patch panel has all been tested and that's exactly what we use and the cable that we use is exactly what we sell on CableSupply.com. So uh, uh, the prices are pretty low because we like to keep the volume up so our price is low when we cable and therefore we offer you the excess at the, the lower price. Again, this is Jim from CableSupply.com and Nova Voice and Data Systems in Southern California. Thank you for watching our video.